the method that we've invented we call Fragma, and that's looking at the way the DNA is being fragmented in blood. Uh, if an individual has cancer, then the cancer cells in the body would release its DNA into the bloodstream of the patient. So by basically taking a blood sample, we can test for those abnormal DNA in the blood. It's based on a discovery that I made in 1997, in which I discovered during, during pregnancy, a baby would release its DNA into the bloodstream of the mother. And so by taking the blood of the mother, I can test if the baby have chromosome aberrations like Down syndrome or sing, single gene disease. And currently in the initial data, for example, looking at early stage liver cancer, we can have a sensitivity of 85% and a specificity of 98%. So in other words, if you have 100 cases of those early case, uh, early stage liver cancer, we can detect 85 of those. So the new joint venture is a company called Insita. So because we're thinking that uh, through a very particular insight that we arrive at this technology called Fragma. And so uh, from my side, then we are our um, scientists and we provide the technology and the intellectual properties. And Prenetics um, has a very strong track record in provision of, um, of a nuclear access based test for COVID PCR. And they have also have a series of products, basically testing at individual genetic differences. So they have the execution power. So I think the two combined together would be very strong. So initially, we would uh, initially focus on one or two types of cancer, like liver cancer I mentioned to you just now, but the technology can be generalized to multi-cancers. So, so I think Hong Kong has some uh, unique strength in the life science area. For example, we have two medical schools which are ranked very highly in the world, and we have a healthcare system which is in which a predominant healthcare deliverer is the hospital authority. So we have very good um, standardization, we have very good uh, database and also there's a number of very exciting new initiatives like the Hong Kong Genome Project to sequence uh, 50,000 Hong Kong citizens and also new uh, development like this laboratory I'm in here it's called InnoHK Laboratory and then we basically have life science healthcare in, 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 in some of those laboratories and then with AI robotics in the others. So together I think it's a very exciting uh, time and of course not to mention about the possibilities offered by the Greater Bay Area.